guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, AKA Vegan Bodega Cat. And today we're shooting another Is It Hype at Soul Sips in Brooklyn. I've never been here before, but it has been here for around a year or so. Um, and I'm excited to check it out. Today I have not Roberto with me. I have my friend Rochelle. Hi. She's the one person that makes me feel tall. Um, and today we are actually matching necklaces. I was Jeez. so excited to see that. Um, anyway, so. Rude. Uh, rude. Oh my goodness! <laughs> They're like having a whole conversation. Okay, I'm excited to see what they have to offer. Uh, let's get going. Yay! After much deliberation, we got the bacon, egg, and cheese, the chicken biscuit sandwich, a lentil patty, and the lobster mac and cheese. I've never had lobster mac and cheese, so I didn't really know what to compare it to, but it sounded interesting. Let's get this taste test show on the road. The bacon, egg, and cheese has tempeh bacon, scrambled chickpea eggs, and gratitude violife cheddar cheese. It's served on a chia turmeric roll and is organic and nut free. It also had giant chunks of tomatoes, which wasn't mentioned on the menu. Let's break this sandwich down by component. The bacon was really good. It was pretty crispy, which I'm not used to having with tempeh bacon. The actual chickpea scrambled eggs was nothing like chickpea eggs. It was very much like mashed chickpea salad, but still pretty yummy, so I wasn't mad at it. The tomatoes were cut very like square and chunky, so they kept on falling around everywhere, um, making the sandwich really messy. The cheese they used was really good, but it was only on my half of the sandwich, so poor Rochelle ended up cheeseless and I ended up giving her a bite of mine. At the end of the day though, we were still pretty happy with it and we gave it an average rating of around 8 out of 10. At this point, the mac and cheese has been out for a while, so forgive it for looking a little bit crusty, we were taking lots of photos. The lobster mac and cheese is a stove-cooked chickpea flour macaroni simmered in sunflower seed-based cheddar and brie cheese served with hearts of palm lobster. Much to our surprise, the bottom part of the mac and cheese bowl was just a giant sheet of seaweed. The seaweed plus the mac and cheese made for one of the most interesting mac and cheese experiences I've ever had, but strangely enough, I really, really enjoyed it. And we gave the mac and cheese a nine out of 10. Next up was the lentil patty. This is my second experience with a vegan Jamaican patty. The first one was at Veggie Castle. They had three fillings to choose from, lentil, kale, and split pea, although only lentil was available when we got there. Honestly, we both found the filling slightly underwhelming. I personally thought it needed cumin. However, the breading on the outside was absolutely delicious and flaky and wonderful. So maybe it's just this specific filling that we didn't like. I'd like to try a different one next time, but we gave it a 7 out of 10. All right, now for the most interesting sandwich of the bunch, the chicken and biscuit sandwich. Inside is fried oyster mushroom chicken on chia seed, turmeric biscuits, and it's served with fresh raspberry and rosemary jam. Yes, jam with chicken and biscuits. I was suspicious. Forgetting flavors for a second, right off the bat, Rochelle and I got sidetracked by how similar the texture of the fried oyster mushrooms was to like dark meat chicken. I literally have like so much footage of us pulling this oyster mushroom apart and just being surprised every single time. Back to the sandwich itself, Jam and chicken was really weird for me, not gonna lie. I'm not a huge fan of sweet and savory. If I were to judge the chicken on the inside by itself, I would give that a 10 out of 10. 
but I probably wouldn't order the sandwich again because the jam and chicken combo just wasn't my thing. Or maybe I could just ask them to replace it with an aioli or something next time? I don't know. I'm not gonna leave you with a rating on this one because I really think it's up to your preference and whether or not you're into the sweet and savory combo. So we just finished at Soul Sips. The food was pretty good, what do you think? I liked it, it was good. Yeah, I liked it, it was very good. The, the mac and cheese was really unique. I've never had a mac and cheese like that in my whole entire life. Um, if you like those like seaweed snack things, yeah. then you would definitely like it. Um, what else is there to say? Oh, the fact that there's jam on the chicken sandwich was also a super interesting choice. I think a lot of people would like that, although I'm not a fan of sweet and savory, so I was just like, eh. She really <laughs> liked it though, so I think it just depends on you as a person and you're like taste buds. In general, um, it is hype, so I would recommend you try it out, especially if you live in the area or you're curious to try something different. We've decided that we're gonna have a bonus footage, bonus footage, bonus. we're going to Van Leeuwen to try their new vegan ice cream flavors, so let's go do that. Yay! <laughs> If you live in New York City, and I think they're even in California, and you haven't been to Van Leeuwen yet, then you really should make your way down there. They have a lot of vegan options, even though they're not fully vegan. I wanna say their menu is like half vegan even. The Coens are vegan, they have some vegan sauces, and they come out with two or more new vegan flavors every couple months. My two favorite to date have been cookies and cream caramel swirl and this strawberry crumble pie one. So good, check to see if they have them when you're there. But today we were here to taste test Green Planet, which is a collaboration with matcha bar, peanut butter and jelly bonbon, and a toasted coconut macaroon tasting one. Forgot the name of it. Okay, so we have two new flavors. There's actually three. This is a uh, green earth. So it's a matcha ice cream with a spirulina cake inside. So the opposite of earth. And then this is the toasted coconut. Um, I can't remember what's it. Toasted coconut something. <laughs> toasted coconut something. And then there's also a peanut butter and jelly bonbon inside. But this is what we got. Yeah. Ooh, brand new flavors. So taste test. I love matcha. I can eat this all day. It's not too sweet and the coconut. This one kind of tastes like uh, like a toasted macaroon, you said? Like a toasted coconut macaroon. So good. And what do you rate them? Um, I feel like if you really like matcha, this is like a solid like eight out of 10. Um, it can be a little bit sweet, this, but it's not too sweet. Um, I would rate this a 10 out of 10. This is so good. <laughs> this should be more advertised. Honestly, I'm generally not a matcha person, but this I don't know. It's like really sweet So you don't taste the grass so much. So like I'm, I'm still kind of into it Yeah, like You know when matcha tastes like grass, okay, this doesn't have the grass So I would say like even if you don't like matcha, I would say to check this one out and uh, This is pretty correct. I mean it tastes a lot like a coconut macaroon and I also would give it a well, maybe a 9 out of 10 and an 8 out of 10 for sure. This one's my favorite. How much would you rate the PB&J? An 8 out of 10, maybe. Yeah, still pretty good, but I like these better. Okay, so we had Soul Sips, we had Van Leeuwen. They were both great, both are hype. How did you enjoy like the dual is it hype? Let me know. How do you enjoy my new is it hype partner? Let me know that too. Hopefully she can help me in the future as well. If there's any other places that you think I should check out, then let me know in the comment section down below. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post almost every single day, then I will put my Instagram right here. Yeah. <laughs> and I will talk to you next time. Goodbye. A huge shout out to my bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Osiris, and Maya. You guys are the absolute best. If you want to become a Bodega Babe, then check out the link to my Patreon down below in the description box.